Hi Saints, thank you for viewing this portion on the introduction to organic chemistry. Today we are going to learn how to name organic compounds. Naming organic compounds is known as nomenclature. IUPAC stands for International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry. It's a system of naming organic compounds. The names consist of three parts, the prefix, the stem, and the suffix. The prefix is the branch or substituent, while the stem shows the number of carbons in a parent compound, and the suffix shows the family name showing the functional group. For example, let's look at 2-chloropentanoic acid. We have 5 carbon here starting for the acid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And hence, the number of carbon shown is a penta. And the family name is oic acid. And 2-chloro is the substituent. The chlorine is at the second position. Hence, the naming is 2-chloropentanoic acid. At this point of time, do not be alarmed if you do not understand how the naming works. It will get better as the lecture proceeds. Every name consists of three parts. The stem, which indicates the number of carbon in the longest continuous chain, is called the parent chain. First, you must determine the number of carbons in the parent chain. From the table below, you can see that for number carbon 1, it is a myth, a methane, for example. 2 is F, 3 is Pro, 4 is Pu. 5 is pen, 6 is hex, 7 is hat, and so on. It's important for you to be able to remember the naming of the carbon 1 to 9. In addition, you also have to remain the alkyl group. For example, if methane becomes an alkyl group, you have one less hydrogen, and it is known as methyl. Ethane will a ethane structure with one less carbon hydrogen will be known as ethyl, and a propane structure with one less hydrogen will be known as propyl. This uh, alkyl group can be used as a substituent in the later part of the naming. Moving on, let us look at the link in the chain. The link on the chain could be single, double, or triple. Is also indicated as follow. So a C single bond is known as an int. A C double bond is known as an int. And a C triple bond is known as an ion. So please remember the naming as well. The position of the double and the triple bond must be indicated by a number. For example, in 1 butene, one because the carbon, the double bond appears at carbon one, and the hot two, three, four. Now let's just look at two butene. Two butene is named as two butene because the number of carbon, the double bond appears at the second carbon, no matter which direction you name it from. For alkenes with more than one double bond, numbers are used to indicate their position, and the prefix di l tri may be used. Let us look at this example of 1,3-butyl diene. Di because there is the presence of two double bonds. And 1,3 is derived because the first double bond appears on the first carbon, whereas the second double bond appears on the third carbon. The suffix is determined by the functional group. When the suffix is present, it gives the principal functional group, that is the family name in the compound. For example, in 2-chloropentanoic acid, the suffix is a oic acid. And let's just look at how it is named. Now, there is 3 carbon, 1, 2, 3. And we start naming from the carbon at the functional group. It's given to the number 1. 